what is the most likely thing in terms of percentages? We'll call it an 85% chance you're going to hear this talking to a potential buyer or seller right now. It's this. I'm going to wait until interest rates come down so it's more affordable. That's what 85% of potential buyers, and I mean first time home buyers and existing homeowners that either need to do a move up or a move down or a relocation or whatever, they're all sitting on the sidelines thinking that it's cheaper to wait to buy. I'm going to show you how to quantify the mathematics and quantify it with an easy presentation so that you can help your buyers and sellers understand that it's actually cheaper to buy right now. Let me show you how it works. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to assume that we can get a seller concession. I can tell you we have a 40% of the builder market right now where we're a preferred lender and the builders are giving routinely 3% which means usually around $20,000 towards closing. And it's very easy to get a seller to do that right now. Why? Inventory is up close to 40%. So this won't work if we have an existing home in a multiple offer situation. How, there's other strategies for that, but this will work to get people off the fence. So what we're gonna assume is we have around $20,000 to work with. If we buy now, we can use that money to at one level, do a one-year payment subsidy with a starting rate of five and a half, or better yet, better yet. So this this would be depending on what we get from the seller. But assume we get three percent, do a three-year payment subsidy. You guys have known these as the three-two-one buy-down program, but what you don't know, because most lenders don't explain it very well, is how it actually works. Those funds go into an account that subsidizes the buyer's payment for three years. So each month on their mortgage statement, they have the payment with a large credit and a lower and then a, and a lower actual payment due to that subsidy. And any unused funds go towards the principal if we refinance before the funds are used up. So we can actually get somebody in with a starting rate of three and a half. How it works is it goes from three and a half to four and a half to five and a half to six and a half, which is about a half percent where average interest rates are at the time I'm making this video. The average right now in the United States is 6.9%. So if you look, it gives the, the buyer uh, the ability to buy and just have a slowly moving payment, slowly moving up until it's time to refinance. Now, we're gonna feel we're gonna refinance probably around 18, 24, maybe 36 months. So let me show you that. Rates are expected to drop into the upper fours, 2025, 2026, okay? So if they buy now, and we're, so let me let me go over the assumptions. $600,000, 5% down, buy now, refi later, refi is about 4.875, the loan amount's lower because they owe less by then, and their payment drops permanently to $4,200, okay? Now, let's say they wait to buy. You guys as real estate agents already know what's going to happen. Prices are going to go up easily 10%, easily, very, very fast, because we don't have enough homes. So once that happens, and the triggering point, by the way, will be will literally be interest rates. So the irony is when rates drop, it'll push prices higher. So people are feeling psychologically like, oh, that's great. I got a great rate. But you paid more, and look at that payment. It costs more, and you can't get any subsidies, right? There's going to be no concessions. I've talked to of the builders we work with, just so you know, they're going to remove concessions and raise prices the second demand goes up, the second demand goes up because they can. And existing sellers, I don't need to tell you guys this, it'll be a bidding war, right? So this is how you get your clients. You're talking about a significant difference in monthly payment, like 500 bucks a month, they could save by buying now but more importantly, look at the savings over the two year period. It's a huge savings and the net worth in the property is almost identical, right? So this is the secret to get your buyers and seller off the fence. However, as agents, you do not have the tools or the training to articulate it the way I can and to quantify it the way I can. I can 
take and quantify it in bite-sized pieces for your buyers and sellers and really start by doing an assessment for them and then building them a plan. And what that will result in is a buyer and seller coming back to you. If it's a seller, they're going to do a sell buy. So you have two deals there. And then you on the first time home buyer, same thing. Now keep in mind, I used a $600,000 purchase price for this scenario. However, this exact same scenario works, whether it's 200,000, 253, 354, etc. That doesn't matter. What matters is, is getting a concession, subsidize the payment, restructure later, and avoid what's going to be even higher costs later on, even with lower rates. Put that to good use and you'll get some of your buyers and sellers off the fence. Please feel comfortable connecting them with me. I will help you. I will help present this to them so they can get moving and we actually are helping them save money and create wealth. Thanks so much and have a great day.